Good day, everyone. Thank you for being here. Welcome to Velo Sick 30 Minutes. So we're going to maximize these next 30 minutes together so you can get a great workout in a short amount of time and leave here feeling awesome. So let's start by adding a little bit of gear. I'm going to suggest a starting gear of anywhere between 6 and 10. I don't think y'all were ready for this one right here. So I want you to here. feel a little bit of pull against your legs, but, but I want this to feel, feel easy for the first good. couple minutes. All right. What we're trying to do right now is just get the blood flowing. Yeah get the breathing start to accelerate, but we're not ready to work hard yet. Try to relax your upper body, relax your shoulders. Be positive. Now let's talk about the speed of our legs. The top number on your screen are your RPMs, and that's a measure of how fast your legs are going. Right now I want you to be anywhere between about 80 and 90 RPMs. I don't want it to feel really artificial, like you're forcing something, but I do want the legs turning at a good enough pace that we get the blood flowing. Now let's add a little bit more gear, keeping the same RPMs. So we're just starting to intensify a little bit. And that's gonna be our mission in this warm up, is to get your body warm and prepared for the work to come. So now what I want you to do is accelerate your feet a little bit. So let's bring those RPMs up to 95. Just a little acceleration in the legs. Good. That's it. That's it. I'm keeping my eye on the time so you don't have to. Now let's slow back down to that baseline speed. So a little bit slower. Now if you're feeling nothing against your legs, you might want to add a little bit more gear. But we're going to make this a little bit faster. So let's now try to get those RPMs up around 100. So a little quicker again. Caught on to the pattern we're going to have. As we accelerate, we want the body to stay as calm when you said, Let's and no bouncing. And now ease back the legs again. Perfect. So you got the idea. 15 seconds a little faster, 15 seconds a little slower. Progressing our speed. So next up, we're going to shoot for 105 RPM. Let's do that now. Oh, yeah. What's making those feet turn faster? We're sweeping a little harder, pulling up using the hamstrings in the back of our legs, driving those knees a little higher as well, and ease it back. Good. So we probably added about two gears from the time we started. If you're not feeling like there's any buildup in your heart rate at all, feel free to add another one. But now we're going to go a little quicker again. 15 seconds at 110. That's it. So you're watching that screen, you're keeping your eye on the RPMs. If it's not quite 110, that's okay. Just work on an acceleration. Good. All right, slow those RPMs to 80. Hopefully you're breathing a little bit quicker by now. You shouldn't be exhausted. You shouldn't be gasping for air. Now, next step, let's add two gears to where you are. And I want you to feel a little bit like you're climbing now. So RPMs will probably drop down closer to 75. I want you to feel how your abdominals have to engage a little more. And you got to work a little harder for that push-pull. Good. Now back off those gears that you added. Great. So that was adding two gears. A little 15-second breather. We're going to add three gears to the next one. So it's going to be a little heavier once again. Go ahead and do that. Ah. A little grittier once more. Again, body stays calm. Think about the downstroke and the upstroke. Nice, efficient, strong pedal stroke. Good. Take those gears off. Take those gears off. Getting a little warmer in here, right? It should be. It should be. We're nearing the end of our warm up. We're going to start intensifying this in just a moment. We added three gears the last time. What happens if we add four? Go ahead and try that now. Ooh, that's a little spicier, right? Uh-huh. Work that push-pull. Work that push-pull. You got it. You got it. Beautiful. All right. Take off the four you added on and smooth it out. Smooth it out. All right. So now it's time to start working for real. Very simple. We're going to either work for 40 seconds or 20 seconds. We are keeping 
keeping the same gear throughout. So you took off the four that you added on. We're gonna start at that magic number. So you should be somewhere between about eight and 12 right now on the gear. We're gonna work for 40 seconds at 100 to 110 RPM. Let's go. All right, 100 to 110 RPM. Now this should start to feel challenging. So on a scale of one to 10, I want this feeling like a good eight on 10. Not quite all out, but a big difference from our warm up. If it's not feeling that tough, guess what? All you have to do is add a little more resistance. All right, if the RPMs are faster than 110, what do you have to do? Add a little bit of resistance. That's it, that's it. All right. Mm, you're gonna hear me start to breathe heavier because I'm not gonna ask you to do anything that I'm not prepared to do myself. All right, and slow the legs. Don't touch the gear, we're keeping it the same. Now the next one we're gonna do is shorter, only 20 seconds, but we're gonna get those RPMs up over 120, ideally, or as fast as you can control. All right, you ready? Let's go, 20 seconds. Uh-huh. Oh, that's quick. You gotta control it, gotta control it. Good job. I'm watching the time for you, just hang on. I'll tell you when to let off. Ooh. Feeling those legs, right? Feeling those lungs. And ease it off. Ooh. Little 20 seconds to breathe again. Then we're right back to 40 seconds. And you are between about 100 and 110 RPM. So a little slower, but we're also stretching the length of the interval. And let's go. 40 seconds here. Uh-huh. Yeah. Body is calm. Body is calm. We're pumping the knees. We're sweeping hard and quick. Hang on. Hang on. We're in this together. Come on. Come on. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Good work. Good work. We're getting close. Not quite yet. You got it. You got it. You got it. Uh huh? I got good news for you. You can slow down those feet. All right, little 15 second breather. We're coming back in for 20 seconds. 20 seconds. All right. What's the magic number here on the RPMs? We're trying to go over 120 or as fast as you can control. Let's go. 30 seconds, come on. Uh, 20 seconds. 20 seconds. I know you caught that error. Let's go. Oh, we gotta work for that 120. Gotta work for that 120. Come on. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Getting close, getting close. I promise. Yep, 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 yep. And ease it off. Let's breathe it out for 20 seconds. We haven't touched the resistance. But you're feeling like it's heavier. That's just because of the fatigue. So what's next? We start the pattern again. Going back to 40 seconds, 100 to 110. All right, oh, those recoveries go quick. Ready, set, go. Uh-huh, that's it, that's it, that's it. Good job, good job. Ooh. Keep it coming, keep it coming. Nice work, nice work. You gotta hang on a little longer. A little bit longer. Come on. Come on. Oh, yes, you can. Don't let those RPMs slip. Do whatever it takes to keep them where you started. Beautiful. Oh, you're close now. You're close now. Come on. Come on. Oh, great job. Great job. Woo. Last few seconds. And. Ease it back. Woo. Great work. Are you feeling warmer now? I hope so. I hope so. All right. Want to squeeze in one more? I think we should. 20 seconds. Up over 120. Go. Last one like this. That I can promise you. All right. Uh-huh. Good job. Good job. Good job. I'm breathing heavier. 
I know you are too. We're doing this together. And knees back. I want you to breathe. You can lighten up a little bit if you wish. Just a few seconds. A little water, that's important. All right. And when you're ready, as soon as you're ready, I want you to add some load again. I want it to feel like you're on a little bit of a hill. That's likely gonna take you to a gear of 14 to 18. Somewhere in that range. Good. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Now we're gonna play with the music on this one. It's gonna guide us. Just like outside, there's rolling terrain. We gotta just adjust to what it gives us. We're gonna adjust on this song to what it gives us. So you can feel that we're climbing up right now. About to get steeper. So I'm going to encourage you to add about two gears. Okay. And then we're going to lift the hips up and off the saddle for the first time today. Won't be the last time, I can tell you that. So we want those hips lined up behind the knees. Think about the biggest muscles you got, the ones in your butt. You want them working for you. Okay? So if we line them up just a little bit behind the knees, we're going to be able to really maximize the use of those muscles. Good. RPMs right now, around 70, okay? We're getting up this little hill, and then we're gonna be going downhill. That's it. Nice work, nice work. Very good, very good. Well, I can feel a little build up, can you? Drop down to the saddle, and we're gonna need to lighten up a little bit. Start turning those legs over quicker, up over 100 RPM. We got a minute going down. Let's get calm and controlled here. It's a big downhill segment. The heart rate is continuing to climb. Nice work. Nice work. That's it. How's it feeling? Might be getting a little uncomfortable. Might be starting to grab in the lungs a little bit. Appreciate that feeling. Hold on to it. Hold on to it. We're over halfway down this hill, but we gotta keep it going. We gotta keep it going. That's it. Fantastic. You're getting close. You're getting close. I can promise you that. a little bit more. Bring this together. High heart rate and all. Now ease the pressure off the pedals. Don't touch the gear. Just ease the pressure off. Let the legs slow down a little bit. It's a short recovery. Then we have a nice steep incline to the top. Take a few breaths. Remember that climbing range? I want you over 14. Possibly as high as 20 or above, right? Up you go. Let it challenge those legs. I want you in the 60s on this climb. I want you to feel how steep it is. We're charging to the top. This might be as high as your intensity has gone yet today. Don't be afraid of it. Attack it. Attack it. Oh, can you feel it? We're almost there. Done. Come on down. Breathe. Breathe. Great job. We got a taste of that climbing, and we're gonna use that now. Two types of climbs, we're either doing 30 seconds or 45. Pretty straightforward. First one is 45, and we're gonna be climbing at an RPM of 60. So those, that gear is gonna be pretty much where you left off that last climb. So let's take it up, let's take it up, and up we go, up we go, good. 45 seconds up here, right around 60. So you might need to add gear as we go. If you notice you're a little too quick, or if it feels a little too easy. I want you on the edge of breathless on these. On the edge of breathless, breathless. Say that three times faster. Come on. Ah. I'm with you guys, I'm with you guys. I'm finding the right gear for myself, just like you are. Once you lock it in, you'll be able to come back here. That's it. That's it. Uh, it's getting a little sticky, right? A little 
more heat in the legs. All right, ease it back. Short recovery, 15 seconds. When we go up, it's gonna be for 30 seconds. Rolling a lot quicker, 75 RPM. So you're gonna do one gear less than what you just did. We're gonna try to attack it, so let's go. All right. Just if you need to, we're aiming for 75 RPM. It's shorter, so it's okay that it feels a little more intense. Uh-huh. Come on. Come on. This will drive the heart rate, no doubt. Embrace it. Come on. Come on. Almost there. Almost there. A few more seconds. Down you go. Down you go. You've seen everything you need to know for this working track. We're going back to the 45 seconds on the next one. Right around 60 RPM. Try to take those recoveries fast. We're burning through this one. And it's time to go again. All right. 45 seconds. That's it. Ooh. Ooh. There it is. Uh-huh. That's it, that's it, that's it. Great job. Push, pull. Think about all the different muscles in your lower body. The more you visualize them working, the more they will work. These are high intensity. It is normal that you feel breathless. It is normal that you feel highly uncomfortable. That's how we get stronger. Getting there, getting there, getting there. And down we go. What's next, do you remember? 30 second climb, only one gear less. We're going for 75 on the RPMs. Breathe, start adjusting your gear, and we go, we go. Ooh, different feeling. That's a 15 RPM swing and a climb. Pretty big difference. Both of them are gonna grab hard at your lungs and your legs. Uh-huh. We're getting closer, I promise. I promise. You guys sweating as much as me? Come on. Finish it up. Finish it up. Down. Let's try that whole thing again. 45 seconds, 60 RPM. Take a few deep breaths. We're trying to let that heart rate come down as much as possible in this short break. Ready? We're back. We're back. Oh yeah, last time 45 seconds, come on, come on, good, good, yes, 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 you got it, you got it, Ooh. feel those big muscles working, feel that support system kicked in hard, we got a little more, we're finishing this bad boy, we're finishing this climb, nice, 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 all right come on down take a little breather okay so this next one we've transitioned to our next drill we're gonna do 10 seconds on 10 off 20 on 20 off 30 on 30 off that's all you need to know the recoveries are standing the work is on the saddle so I want that gear up, okay, in the climbing range. So above 14, okay, probably a gear or two less than the last song because the work here is on the saddle. First one's only 10 seconds, so we sit down, we hammer. Let's go, let's go, okay. It's not a sprint, this is power, power. Good, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. And lift up, a little 10 second breather, walk slow. The recovery. Not touching the gear. Next one. Go. 20 seconds. Try to hit that same RPM number. Do your best. You might drift off towards the end, but start with it at least. Woo. Come on, team. Come on, team. Woo. There it is. Stand it up. 20 second standing recovery. So where should those RPMs be? I would like you to be between 80 and 90 when you're working. So 
if you've been above that, add a little load. If you've been below, take off a gear. All right, next one's 30. Ready? Go. Go. Yep, 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 yep. Same gear. The start is okay. Hanging on gets tougher. Feel that heart rate continue to build. The legs, they burn. But we embrace the burn, right? Because we know that means we're accomplishing something. So hang on, you got 10 more seconds here. Don't back down. Don't back down. Bingo! Come on up, 30 seconds recovery. Then we start the whole thing again. All right. This will give you a little bit of a chance to recover a little bit more. So we're up, but we're slow. We're walking it out. We're breathing. Enjoying this few extra seconds that we're getting. Let me start with the 10 10 all over again. Are you ready? 10 seconds. Go! Just 10. Come on, burn it up. Burn it up. Yeah, 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 yeah. And up you go. 10 seconds and we're back in. Woo. That's it, that's it, that's it. All right, here comes 20. Go. Great job, great job. Come on, you're halfway through this one. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. You got this, you got this. Right to the end, right to the end. And up you get. 20 seconds to breathe. Ooh, man, we're in the meat of this ride. Okay, you know what's coming, it's the 30. The last 30 we're gonna do in this drill. So let's make the most of it. Okay, everything you got, let's go. 30 seconds, come on, kick it, kick it. Might not look like we're going that fast, but there's so much power behind this pedal stroke. And that's what counts. Woo. Good job, good job, good job. Come on, come on. Hang on, hang on. You're close, you're close. Woo. Yep, yep, yep. Up you go, up you go. 30 seconds to breathe. Uh, we're gonna have time to sneak in one more 10. So it's a sit. It's an all out. I want you to add one more gear. One more gear. Okay? It's gonna be quick. Ready? Set. Go! Ten seconds. Ten seconds. And you're done. Breathe. Take it off. A little towel off. I don't know about you. Alright. Last full working song. Okay. Now the good news is the intervals are going to get shorter as we go. It only means one thing. They're going to get more intense. <laughs> so first one is one minute. We want to hold 100 RPM. Or slightly higher, maybe 105, but not more than that because everyone has to get faster. So ready? Gear should be. All right, we talked about our baseline being 6 to 10. So I'm going to say anywhere between 8 and 14. Ready for one minute? Let's go. Let's go. Remember, those are suggestions. You're your own unique person. So you got to figure out what gear works best for you. So this gear should feel challenging. We have one minute here, but you got to be able to sustain the 100 RPM marker. That's it. That's it. Get up. We're not getting up, actually. We're staying down. Okay. You get the idea though, high energy, high effort. Over halfway. Come on, come on. Come on, last quarter of this one. Keep it going, keep it going. And we're not gonna touch this gear, okay? Be prepared for that, we're not gonna touch it. Slow the legs. Slow the legs. Don't touch the gear. We're sticking with it. Next interval is 50 seconds. Same gear. We're going to aim to add 5 RPM 
onto what you just did. Ready? Go. 50 seconds, a little bit quicker. A little bit quicker. If it's five, that's the target, that's great. If it's just two or three, that is excellent as well. Uh-huh. That's it, that's it. Hang on. A little ways to go still. A little ways to go. Remember, each interval is going to get shorter. Hang on to that idea. Almost there. Almost there. A few more turns. Come on. Come on. You got this. You got this. You got this. Slow it down. Don't touch the gear. Don't touch it. Because this pattern continues. Next one, 40 seconds. A little faster again. We're aiming to add five. With success, is anything above what you just did. All right, we're going in five. Okay, ready? 40 seconds. Yep. Ooh. Well, that's getting spicy. Come on. Get up. We're dancing. We're doing our version of dancing. Come on. It's non-stop pressure on those pedals. Push, pull. Can't release at this tempo. You gotta keep you firing on all cylinders. Hang on. Hang on. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. We're in this together. Come on. <laughs> Ease it off. All right, you're doing great. You're doing great. I think you guys know what's coming next, right? 30 seconds. Faster still. <laughs> so can we get up near that 120 range? That's what we're going for here. All right, think about it. Start turning over. Go. Get up. Ah. Yeah. Walk it down, come on. Yep, 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 yep. Hang on, you're close, you're close, I promise. I promise. <laughs> I got good news for you. You made it. Slow down. Don't touch yet. Uh uh Not yet. <sighs> All right. Uh, now, let's take off two gears. Two gears. We're gonna break this down gradually. All right. We're beginning to drop it back. All right. Maybe it wasn't a super long workout, but I don't know about you. It was tough, it was tough, right? Good sense of accomplishment right now. But we want to allow the body to transition a little more gradually than just hopping off the bike. Not the best thing for our body. Okay. I want you to back off two more gears. Let those legs turn at a really comfortable pace. It's all about letting the body know it's okay. It can relax now. It's done what it has to do. I can take a little breather. All right, good stuff. Ooh, that's feeling pretty good. All right. How about two more off? That would feel good, right? Back off another two. breath. The heart rate's nice and relaxed. The most important part of cooling down, I think, is the nice deep breaths. Expand those lungs. Give yourself a little high five for getting the job done. Excellent work, everyone. I hope to see you back again soon. Okay. You keep riding until you feel like you're ready to transition for the rest of your day. Thank you so much, everyone.